Hi, and welcome back to the Miami Herald's High School Football Gridiron Report. We're here at Gibson Park uh, covering the Booker T football practice. There's practice this week, and that's something very special to these guys because they're back in the state championship game for the fifth season in a row. They're going for their fourth consecutive state championship, which would keep them as the Dade County record holder in that department. And we're here with Coach Earl Tillman. Coach, congratulations first off. I know this year has been, you know, a little bit of a roller coaster ride during the season, but you're here once again. If you can just describe, you know, briefly just about, you know, what it took to get here and just how validating this is of a victory for you guys to get back to state. Well, right now is a little something special for this organization, as well as the community, the alumni, and everybody that supports our F5 Tornadoes. You know, it's been a rough start, up and down, you know, week in and week out, you know, but all I've been saying all season is we got to make sure we win all the district games. Give us an opportunity to be in the Tournament of Champions, and once we punch our ticket to the Tournament of Champions. Now we just got to take one week at a time because we knew going into the playoffs, it don't matter what your record says, everybody is zero and zero. You win, you keep playing, you lose, you got to pack it up for spring football. Coach, uh, how proud are you of just the growth of this team both on and off the field as you've seen them you know, grow up and get better you know, since spring ball? Well, right now, the, comp the competition level, you know, they love to compete, you know, as you probably wasn't paying attention, but right in, during stretch, the offense was talking smack to the defense. You know, it's about competing. Last night, I think the defense had a little edge on the offense, so the offense coming out, you know, tonight with a chip on their shoulder to get back at them. Um, you know, tell us a little bit about just, you know, how excited you are for yourself, you know, just what this means to you, you know, back as a head coach of this program. You did it once before, and to get to the state championship game when, you know, considering you know the kind of situation that this team was facing back in August well you know I'm more excited than I've ever been before you know in my 23 years of coaching here in Dade County you know I feel like it's a special moment not just for me but for this team you know and I've been telling them all week that you know no one deserves this more than them you know through all the adversities that they face through all the speculation through all the adversity all the perseverance that that this team has experienced you know I would love to see these guys go out next Saturday and win it all what about this opponent, you know, Reigns? Uh, obviously, you guys were used to seeing Bulls all the time up there. Now you get a Reigns team that's pretty talented. Uh, from what you've seen of them so far, what do you think of them, and what's it going to take to beat them? Not taking anything away from them. They have a great program as well. They've been fighting for the last few years to get over the hump because they've beaten Bulls during the regular season. Then Bulls come back and beat them to knock them out during the playoffs to make the advancement to the state championship. But just watching film, we know they're a solid team, especially on defense. They have some athletes that can play. You know, offensively, they got some skilled guys that can catch the ball and run very well. You know, I think it's going to be a great matchup. You know, as long as we continue to do what we've been doing, not turning the ball over, executing, getting some type of score each drive offensively, and play like the defense played that second half of last week game, I think everything should turn out in our favor. Coach, guys like uh, D. Rich and, you know, Beaver on defense, Flanders, a wide receiver, you hear a lot about them. But who are some of the kids that you don't get to this game without? Well, we got sleeper guys on defense like we have an Anthony Turner, you know, who showed up big last week in the trenches, you know, with that solid running game that Coco performs each week. You know, they was able to put Turner in. He made a few tackle for losses in the backfield. Very quiet, humble kid. Don't say much, whatever you call his name. He steps to the plate, comes out ready to play. You got another kid, a Brandon Tobar, you know, who made some great plays for us before he left the game with a shoulder injury. You know, you got guys that are totally all in, committed to the program through not being selfish, you know, sacrificing for the team. Offensively, you got underclassmen, freshmen, Dante Lucas, who's now starting to understand the game, you know, playing together with Willa Pierre, Takai. You know, you got our center, who's our captain of that line, you know, Daniel Jean, who controls the calls and make all of the necessary checks that we need, you know, to oppose in defense. And um, just if you can talk about the defensive side of the ball, just the maturity there, the secondary has obviously become a big strength for you guys, especially in the recent games, you know, some of the guys there too. Yeah, our secondary is probably our strength on defense. You know, we have Dedrick Mackey who can play safety, defensive back, nickel dime, wherever we need him, you know. We have one of the twins, one of the Dane twins that we've converted from offense to being a corner because two of the corners went down a few games ago, who stands out to be a remarkable player for us. You know, they're very young, but at the same time, they're starting to understand their responsibility on the defensive side of the ball and doing their job. And when everybody do their job, does their job, then, you know, we tend to play pretty well defensively. Coach, I know I asked you how excited you were for this game, but um, 
also just in general what this means to you because a, a few years back we know you had, you had a serious injury and you know you've been able to come back to coaching you're healthy now and and you know if you could put that in the perspective of just you know a few years later you have a chance to win a state championship as the head coach of this program just if you can kind of describe what that means to you well, I want to give all praises to the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ because without him, none of this would be possible. I just felt like, you know, he put me through certain things for a reason. Now I'm here, a better help, you know, giving me the strength to try to guide these young men, doing the right thing, being a role model to these guys, and put me in a situation where I can, you know, at least come out and win a state championship as a head coach under my belt. Well, thank you, Coach. We're definitely happy for you. Good to see you guys back in Orlando. We wish you the best this Saturday. Catch the Tornadoes in Orlando in the Citrus Bowl against Jacksonville Reigns.